So I went to Barbara and I said, we've got to do this. And she said, we, we're not going to get a month. You know, the, the Black Caucus has more. And I said, okay, let's go for a week. And she said, okay, let's go for a week. So we introduced legislation. It would come out of the post office and civil service committee, but any commemorative things came out of this sort of non-important committee declaring holidays. And um, so I set up a bill to, inter to uh, declare a week. And that's when Barbara said, when are you going to declare that week? You know you should declare August 26. It should surround August 26 when we got the right to vote. And I looked at her, and she's from Maryland. I said, Barbara, do you want to be outside parading on August 26 when it's hotter than the hinges of hell? And she said, no, Susan, I think you're exactly right. Now, let's see. What other dates do we have? And I said, there's International Women's Day. And she said, in March, go for it. So that's how we picked because we wanted the, the cherry blossoms in bloom. We wanted it to be marching weather. And so we picked March, and we got the first week approved. I think it was almost voice vote. And then Barbara went on and got the month later on. Okay. Women's History Month in particular has been very very successful, and I consider it part of the movement towards our, our museum. I, I consider it, well, here are these famous women. Why don't we know about them? Why don't we see them on the mall? Why aren't they in the museums? Logical question. And